Hello, my name is Markham Matoshevich from Markham3D.com and AussiesAndDragons.com. If you're liking these short tutorials, please hit subscribe and really help me out. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to create a timer very quickly. So first things first, let's create a new widget. So we go user interface widget blueprint. Let's call this uh, time. Let's open up the widget. And we are going to just throw in a simple text block in there. Now from here, I'm going to open up the side scroller game menu. I'm going to add in the event begin play. I'm going to type in widget, create widget. From the class, we're going to select time, which is what we just created. And from here, we're going to go to viewport, add to viewport and return value to target. Now, what we need to do on the timer, we need to add an event uh, for the tick. So event tick. And what we need to do now is first, we need to add in a delay because we want this to happen every second one from here we need to create two variables we're going to have one time min and another one time sec now these two are both integers up to here in the top right from here i'm going to bring across our time sec we want to set the time first up and let's connect these and then i'm going to bring over the get time sec now what we need to do is we need to add every second a new number so i'm going to press plus integer plus integer number one and we'll plug that in there from here we're going to branch this off so branch and a true or false condition so when time sec and we'll expand that is greater than 59 seconds this condition becomes true so from here we are going to now worry about our minutes set minutes so we'll continue that on and we're going to do the same thing what we did down here we're going to get the minutes bring that over get minutes and we'll expand that press plus integer one minute every time this is above 59 seconds from here we need to go set we need to get the seconds we need to set the seconds and we will change this to seconds is zero compile let's come back over into here now let's compile this while we're here now let's create a new bind create binding box so let's put all our fluffy wonderful things in here quickly we want to cast side scroller game mode is what we've got here the object is game mode from here we want to get those two variables we're going to get um, time min and then from here we're going to get time sec and we want to return those two values so i'm going to pull back from here and go format text and we'll do something a little bit fancy i'm going to click in here i'm going to do squiggly bracket i want min squiggly bracket space semicolon space squiggly bracket sec squiggly bracket and press enter i'm going to plug the minutes in the top the seconds down the bottom there compile play and now we can see we've got a timer now let's just make sure that the minutes are working i'm going to stop here i'm going to change the condition here to every five seconds the minute will go up so compile play one two three four new minute now beautiful everything's working now fine so if you enjoyed this please make sure you hit subscribe and i'll release more quick tutorials